My number four is 1992 album Dirt by Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains are a band that regularly get lumped in with, with other Seattle bands from that sort of grunge era, the likes of Pearl Jam and Nirvana. But like I was saying earlier, pretty much every grunge band sounds different um, mm. to one another. And Alice in Chains are no exception and they really don't sound like anyone else. When you boil it down, they're essentially a, a hard rock band, but they have a sort of effervescent yet troubled front man in Lane Staley and a, 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 a now legendary lead guitarist in, in Jerry Cantrell. The name of this album is pretty apt because just everything on here feels like it's coated in a in a thick crust of grime and filth and the sort of distorted guitar tones and the sickly lead guitar lines and, and the haunting harmonies are, are fantastic and those harmonies that Alice in Chains do are something that no other band does and um, Alice in Chains have never bettered it since they have done it on Dirt there's a ton of just classic songs on here then Bones just crushes um, as does Damn That River there's um, the weird proggy masterpiece that is Rain When I Die. This has got like a creeping, squealing, cacophonous intro, but it's got this wonderfully melodic chorus where um, Lane Staley just belts out, I think it's gonna rain when I die. I just love this album. I love how dark it is and how depressing it can be and just how heavy and brooding and sort of evil it sounds at times. You've got songs like Down in a Hole that um, dial things back a little bit but it's still a sort of haunting track, an acoustic journey through the sort of darker moments of a drug addict. The front man Lane Staley passed away from a, a heroin overdose a decade after this album was released and his troubles with drug addiction are all over this album. I mean, you've got a song like Sick Man, which is really disturbing and twisted, but it's got these chugging riffs and really termented sounding vocals. You know, another song, Junkhead, it's in the name, that follows a similar kind of theme. A lot of people will know the song Rooster, um, which is the first Alice and Jane song I ever heard. It's got this really gorgeous bass-led intro and sort of crooning... Um, falsetto ooze that, that lead into um, a, a story about the hellish experiences of war. I, I love this album the, the, the way it expresses sort of anger and pain and and sadness is just it's really palpable the, the, the way they set a mood but at the same time it just absolutely slams the songs are heavy and the riffs are huge and it's just a massive moment in the career of a huge band it's my favourite Alice in Chains album. If you're interested in my favourite Alice in Chains songs, you can find a list and a playlist on, on the website. So I won't spoil that here by telling you my favourite song, but it is on this album. Alice in Chains are still going. They, they've got a, a new front man. They sort of returned in like 2012 or something like that. I could be getting that wrong, but the, the guy does a pretty good sort of Lane Staley impression. They still do pretty good sort of harmonies and like pretty dark songs but for me they haven't quite captured the magic that they had back on Dirt. I think it's their peak moment so that is Dirt by Alice in Chains.